decent. It feels like Batboom have strong lanes drafted for themselves. Kind of oh, right, bot so pressure to kick the life throw out. But outside of that, there's not really much that either team is... Both teams pick their drafts with the idea that they're going to win the game at some point. Okay. And to not stress. And these lanes feel... Oh, oh. John Mink and lower. He dies to the Techies Cure. Manages to get the TP out. Understanding what was going on right there. If there's so a kill, if there's not a kill, you can walk away or you can kind of sit there. And you're always off the map. You oh, speaking of which, Pugna instead wants to find Nightfall. Snowball in a couple more hits. He's going to get away. Chalice. Needs to back out as they force some deck. FY is going to fall. Save involved in another kill on the map. That's Chases, awesome. connects, pulls him in, brings him down. 3 0 bet boom. The save the techies. Save techies. Yeah, that early aggression, right? Two points into the blast off. Oh, and now he's actually pressuring at the Lotus Pool here. They're going to get a kill on the Chalice. Looking for it, chasing and brought down. Just like that. Well, the rotation's coming in from FY. They want to get a bigger kill on this side. So they chase GPK. Shard's going to connect. Somnus moving in. Good nice snowball so dodge from FY to get out of there. And the Reaper Scythe takes him down. It's a really big kill. They had the so slight spot spots him, maybe? Not sure if they did, yeah. Nightfall still chasing, the illusion is there. <laughs> so they take him on a long oh. walk. Finally, only a one second stun. I mean, they're gonna- The supports are coming, but they're pretty far away, you know? <laughs> it's... Well, goes for it, the blast off connects, and this is actually turning out to be a nice kill. Chalice still not getting level six online. Stun and done. It feels just so sad. You know you want this kill so bad, but you take he probably missed a full wave for that. If he makes yeah. a six, he could kill it with the rage, so this might be a really nice connection for Azure. They are not even stopping for the tower. Just rolling straight through, looking on to Chalice safe, able to connect the fight, going weird for Betboom though, as they realize there are people behind. Can they quite catch up to Nightfall though? Snowball, shards, well, ready in a moment. Long chase. BK showing up, they turn, say fine, we'll fight you, you want to fight? But then the Dawn will be coming through, hits on all of them, Nightfall is going to die. There's an egg. Slices coming from GPK. Infest, Snowball. They don't have any more left. They're going to get the Reaper Scythe. Find the kill. Somnus hitting big. Lul chasing for more. They lost the Tusk, but they got the kills that matter. Oh, Great there are the Yules too for the clutch. As they run them down. Toronto, Tokyo in the dirt too. Yeah, they, oh, they got what they were waiting for. Finally something to cheer for here for Azure. They, they got the move. That was I, I think this was a really good timing play. They get the armlet on the life here. Classic. Know. We saw that match the other day against Virtus Pro. It was a similar type of story. Uh, worked out for them in that instance. We'll see if it does in this one as well. But right now, they're trying to make a go. Catch on to Chalice. Bow, egg, everything. He's done. They managed to find themselves that easy kill. Will Glyph the tier one tower up top. But this timing is uh, pretty strong. But further reason why you focus Chalice in these fights. Doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of net worth. Now, the torrent, the pull in, the stun, the combo. They're getting him brought down. There it is. Decrep. Oh, Tian Ming gets his buddy out of trouble just then. No infest. Get away, no infest. And Rage wears off, which means come on back, say hi. That, that was the disco. Almost immediately after that Decrep. Just took it right off there and kept the damage going and, and timing. Really just, fast man. teleport rotation if they know that this is happening. The gate's also already coming out. Roshan dropping really fast. Yeah, they know. They're getting ready. Walking in. I mean, oh. this is into egg. Ready to jump. In the boat. Can they do it? FY throws the short save. Jumps That's in, great. but immediately gets ulted. Ooh, is there. And they get the Aegis and starting to get out. Toronto Tokyo dives away, wants to TP to get out of trouble. And you know what? That's a pretty freebie as long as, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nightfall there for the chase. BKB got to run. Pure drops the Torrent Storm and tries to get away. Do they have enough to escape Shards? with Nightfall? Shards uh. is going to catch him. Nightfall in trouble in the Dawn Ultimate. Comes out. They take down Nightfall. As Tusk, you know, you don't have this just free BKB TP, so he has to Phoenix. run. It's just so hard, and you feel like you can, that's where you lose the game. It's yep. going high ground prematurely. Wow. So they want to just make sure that it's much better to make the game go late than to lose. They find one. That's the Pugna. Tidal Wave pulls him in closer along with Lil. They start to burn him down. Stun also connects now onto Life Stealer. He's down so low and gone. How did that happen? And now the turn on Somnus. This is not the way the fight was supposed to go for Azure Ray. They lives. It's Somnus in trouble still. They pull him back in with that X. Got him caught and killed. They were just kind of poking a little bit there. And, and suddenly they just got this huge fish. I don't think they were expecting it. Uh, I think that was the Kunkka Ag just randomly caught him with the torrent, and they just got chain stunned for like five, six seconds. And they just reveal their positioning if they walk that way. 
Andre can burst the Phoenix. Now. Somnus finds one. That's a good one to get, but can they burst him in time? The, the Orchid Tusk. Great play catching that Tusk and killing the Phoenix. So one for either side doing well, but Somnus now in trouble. He doesn't have the help from the Tusk. He can't get there, but he doesn't need it. Back and away. The Infest was there from the Life Stealer. Nightfall. Ooh, barely gets away. That snowball could have been good. And Pure also in trouble. This is a fabulous fight for Azure. <laughs> Nearly got saved there, too. That was a really quick okay, play. Good play there. They should know that they're right on top of him. Still has that blink ready if he wants to jump in. Save also ready for a jump. They have it if they That's want, but it's going to come a second too late. Right, they will get fire. stunned, but they managed to get out. Now the water park. They do drop the Reaper Scythe. Kill off the Dekis. Do they have more? Trying to find another. That's going to be a Ming falling. He dies. Somnus backs away. FY chasing the Dawnbreaker ultimate. Coming in for the turn. And with that, three of Bet Boom will go down. The Dawn, the guy who's going to be alone, try to ult in, and it's uh, going to be a Hex reveal, hopefully. Can they get him, though? Chasing, find nice. him. Hex is there. That's exactly what they needed. Two seconds stun, he's done. And now on the rest of them, Azure, they have to back away. FY runs in, confirms there is a ward there. Oh, yeah. And then has to quickly retreat, so he's not the next victim. And that's going to give a lot of space out here on the map. But seconds. when it gets later and later, you know, things get a little bit wild, and you're kind of in new territory. Oh, Toronto, Tokyo. FY ready to initiate. They jump right at the start. Can they blow him up this in time? Oh, yes, they will. Even through the sun ray, it was more than enough to take down that TA. He took a ghost right off. Oh. There's nothing they can do to kill him right now. And they keep going for more. A second oh. set of racks. Still 40 seconds. No TA Thanks. at all. But the stun, the pullback, the snowball. Oh, hey, FY. Oh, but he blows up on the second round. Tries to get away with that Yule's Chalice steps forward. You never want to go high ground, but maybe AR, they can do it. FY gets healed back up. The life drain, but another tidal wave. Pure pulling him in that much closer. Somnus, he's going to get stunned. Three seconds on that one. Save looks for more. The Dawnbreaker ultimate coming in and he hits there and finds the kill on to save. A second hero gone from this. Disarm, backs away. Snowball Pure, he's low. Is he going to survive the both up? It's not enough. The buyback is there, now looking to take down Somnus. He has dealt with so much damage in this extended fight. They will finally kill off at least one on FY, but Azure Ray, can they go for more? Has the refresher at the ready, pops it now. GPK beating into Somnus. Somnus has taken so much damage in this game. I can't tell. He's always full health. <laughs> yeah. He's tanking through a whole this lot This is here. a scary situation. The egg outside the pit is really hard to fight. They into. jump. They there try to is. find him, but the snowball save is there yet again. Will it be enough? He's getting in, pulled far forward. FY, they buy back onto two. Nightfall. Die back. Die back. Chalice, if he goes down right here, this is it. Chalice gets separated, though. And there's the Reaper Sight. Available for the turn, but still Chalice and FY are dead. So are the CK and the Techies. They have to back away from Lul, but Pure. What else does he have left in the tank? Samus is still just at full HP. GPK knows there's no sight here, but how much pit? can he go for? They have it, thinks about the oh. go. Takes him out with one shot. There's the tidal wave, but the rage is there. Oh, he says, no, you're not stealing my Aegis. They take down Bet Boom team again. And somehow, after all of that, it's a one king. Send their sights up towards the top side of the map. Ob sentry combo here. Jump. We've got Nightfall. Finds him. Good damage. Good damage. Is it enough? Yes. <laughs> just lurking. Waiting for you to step out just the tiniest bit from your base and immediately punished. Yeah, and that is every no single hero. Dude, he does not care even a little bit. That's disgusting. Daedal is finished for the TA, so that's more damage that they have to hopefully burst. Yep. Brings it over. They're out of the base. There's the Tusk Punch, the kick back. Oh, the to blink. find them. Can they get away? At least I for fall. the moment, they will. It's on to Tusk, though. He's starting to fall. Heal is there, but save. He hits the good jump with the blast off onto two. And already starting to die on Chalice with the Sunray out. They're actually destroying them. Oh, Somnus. Where are your hearts now, boy? Ooh, well, I thought with the green guy, his heart would, like, grow. Oh, you're not I want to come back alive right now. FY, they're scanning. Toronto, so Tokyo close. up on the high ground. They already are in there with Lou, but GPK, he gets the Aegis. Chalice shows up, able to steal the Agonims. Okay, that's a nice win, but Chalice is going to die for it. And that's... dead for 100 seconds, no buyback. That is kind of sick, though. And it was pretty you know, cool. It, yeah, it's, <laughs> feels cool. Yeah, I don't know He's how to the high ground from Bet Boom. There are similar abilities here for Azrae, most notably the kick, of course. So we have to be very careful how they use the Kunkka X. Well, yeah, the they use it immediately. And nope. he actually, oh, he gets Snowball because of that. Oh, FY. 
Did not maybe see that X, not sure what happened. Will snowball a second time with the Torrent Storm going out. Not easy to take this fight. They will kill one, but can they kill Bombus? another? They pull him out of position. Yule Scepter lift up. The boat is going to not land on him. So they are able to survive with Chalice not buying back. But FY, wait, he bought back! FY, does he have enough to stay alive though? The stun is there a long duration, but no, he's gone! Just like that one! GPK stunned for a little while. Chalice still there for the control, but he's out of position. Three seconds stun, starts to fall and gone! Can they find more? But there's the Reaper Scythe, oh. there for a turnaround. The fight, it's lasted too long! This is where Somnus shows up! Gets the blink away, GPK managing to escape. Oh, we're thinking about wait, something here. Wait, wait. A little crazy. Yule Scepter. Hold Can't on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can they do it? GPK wanted to fight, but is it actually going to work? They're all lined up. Pugna starts to fall. He goes down, but he's inside. He infests. He's disarmed. He's disarmed. He can't hit. The right click. It's enough. Yule takes him down. Two seconds done on the side. Oh, he's trying to get the kill, but he transfers it over. Gets the cheese off in time. The Lotus, not sure what it was, he's but now he's he's over to the side. And Som is still living. Somehow, someone. Oh, He's gonna do it! Triple kill for GPK! Oh, is it enough? Can they do it? They take him down! GPK trying to run, but no! Somnus is too strong! Oh, it's so much damage just everywhere. They're buying back, they're boxing back and on top of each other, trying to finish this game. There's left in the tank, Somnus. He has stayed so strong throughout this game, and he is gonna right-click these buildings down. 50 damage at a time if he has to. Chalice shows up now as well. And with Lil also in tow as your Ray, what more do you have? You have enough to finish this one off. Save tries to stop it, but it's not looking like it's gonna be enough. Techies is going to fall. As your Ray take them down bit by bit, building by building. Another blast off, almost enough to kill Chalice, but he's barely surviving. There's the infest play. GG is called. Oh, that big green health bar didn't go down very low after that fight. The two hearts was looking a little scary, but in the end, 5,000 health is a little too much for them to kind of chew through at the end. This is a traditional counter pick mid, so it I, mean, I, I do like the defense. We were talking about this in the Gladiator's Liquid Series. Gleipnir or Shadow Blade, and then he starts becoming just a right click carry. Wow. Up top, in trouble. Can it go down? Like I said, two, well played. <laughs> yeah. uh, two kills already at this early going. Pure did take some damage from that one, but so and far... And the nice thing is the supports on Azure Rate don't really have the damage to chew through a Dragonite in this early game, so even if they come mid, they don't have the coil, they don't have the damage, so he can just hit the tire for free. Oh, nice play. Double Bramble, and then pulls him into another one. Tianming low. Will it be enough for the kill, though? Slow, Slow. and... Needs to get range, needs to get vision. Hides behind it. Now the keeps him alive. Instead, they turn on to Lul. Find him for a one-second stun. Tianming doesn't die. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh. I have spoken too soon. He doesn't die, but the Luna did. It's even worse. Yeah, he's trying to the Dawn Tusk, and he was in the safe lane. And now he's the off laner, and the oh. carries are always weak. Look at this, though. They have them where to here with the Phoenix in behind. 3v3. Making a move, anticipating this, and Pure, he's in trouble, but still, they lose Lul, and Pure gets away. Oh, this is not what Azure were hoping for. More people brought in from Betboom. And every early move has been into their favor. And this is on the top of GPK. He's taking this tower at seven minutes again. Yeah, not I mean, even six yet. Yeah, the kills went the way of Bedboom in the first game as well, but oh, it was not this devastating the blood grenade? lane. Dude. Just swipes so. them down. GPK Farms. is having... Yeah, now I think the Dark World is also level six already, this so they can big. take a fight. If they get him, that's what they needed. Nightfall goes down, dive away, but then the turn looks for one. The heal is going to be there from the Dawnbreaker, keeping him alive. Somnus in far. It's going to fall. Managed to bring down that pesky puck, and Chalice is in no man's land. Nice. We'll try and go for the kill on the Toronto Tokyo. Manages to find him. GPK low on mana, but uh -oh. with your moving in, a big DD fear pulls him back in for closer damage and another kill eight to three all right well chrono goes down and not too successful there for nightfall but they get the clean up there that's the mop and bucket of dk and ck it's show to up be done with that midas himself but still willing to get a little bit active Lou shows himself shows lul immediately there has it on top the heal coming though will it be enough to keep alive lul no GPK kind of in no man's land. Snowball able to dodge a couple of spells. Oh, Somnus the is there. Do they have enough? The Chrono connects onto everybody. Not sure if there's actually that much damage to throw in. They drop nice the fear. coil and then the fear connecting, trying to separate. Chalice dropped down low, killed by save. And Bet Boom. 
They take down three, not a single hero falls. Everything just in sync there, coming through. I mean, GDK. GDK. Kill, they let you go and they come and take your Kobold instead. You don't want to Fall get in. a turn, turn around, wait. Oh, he misses the dead shot. Good, they needed that one hurts. Somnus was so oh, close as well. Now we stunned up Somnus. Oh my goodness, they're gonna find another. Tries to jump away, FY there to help his buddy, but oh. no. Nightfall comes in with the Chrono. They're gonna bring down the Muerta to boot. Three heroes dead, and maybe even a fourth. Chalice is caught, they're dropping the egg on the low ground. Nothing is going good for Azure Ray in this game number two. Oh, I love that he doesn't even give him a chance. Just drops the chrono, catches on too. Easy. They fall. He knows. Atos, leave me alone. I don't want to be here anymore. FY tries to jump away. Of Here's the, the veil. Okay, meanwhile, down bottom, Lul, they try and turn this, but the fear, the timing of that one was so nice, and they run in with the tusk, immediately get stunned. Yeah, FY just leaves. They have the perfect answer. Somnus tries to get away, but save is all on top of him. Pure tries to run out also, as they focus their efforts onto Lul, pull him back in, kill that hero too. But FY lived. FY did look. FY though. No. It's not as much as Bet Boom and it's not as much as they would like, but they are they're not letting themselves loose. They're doing what they have to do and just Ooh. constantly oh, fall. Here, the great positioning. He jumped. He jumped. Is he dead? He's in yeah. trouble and gone. Three heroes caught by the fear, but there is not enough follow-up. They jump in with GPK, tries to get the stun, the damage in. Chalice there for the heal. Manta dodge, not gonna be enough. Godlike from Pure as they chase down Chalice. He too will die. They get one kill, but it cost them a lot. So Azure Ray, they will lose for Bet Boom. Clear your path towards high ground if they want it. Man, this is exactly what Bet Boom did. Trying to get towards an Aghanim Scepter for himself. Now Azure Ray, they see GPK, decide to jump on him to start, make him less tanky, oh, no. but the Chrono for the turn, and the Deep's being thrown out and ripping them to shreds. They didn't stand a chance. Where to? You're gone to. Can't even get GPK. Oh, baby. I'm lined up, I'll just chrono my own teammates, it's fine. Into the pit they They're go, sneaking it. trying to take it down. GPK says, hey, how you doing, everybody? BKB tries to run out the route, the damage, the sunray. It's hitting on the Lu, and there is not an answer in the world for that. They take down the Tusk and the Luna, gonna claim the Aegis, FY. Tries oh, a dead shot, two is gonna go down. This is not for you to take. They're gonna also find Somnus, who will attempt to escape, but the terrorized chase down, blink away. Charles to farm some creeps for a moment, hides behind the tree, but the stun is there. And GPK, as he's done many times in this one, is gonna force Somnus to retreat. No answer at all. Aegis on the Faceless Void, and GG's called, they've had enough. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, go for one last glorious attempt there. You know there's no Chrono at that exact moment in the pit, so they try and find something, but they, they kind of knew. And I'm this game got to this tournament, so I'm excited to see that. Also, I feel like he might go like 2-2-0 two, two, and then start getting Suscitation, so he probably even feels that if he loses the lane, he has the right hero for the game. Yeah, fair. That's gonna be the big thing for sure. Oh, and in the meantime, down bottom, they do manage to find a good dead shot on save, and that's gonna be first blood. It's been looking great on the dead it's, shot. Uh, it's not a super pressuring one. Morphling, a very hard hero to kick out of the lane for sure. Oh, oh Toronto Tokyo. Tokyo. This is big. They make the move and the Hellbear Smasher. It's gonna be enough. That's so huge. Toronto, Tokyo. That's that what, is what they needed. That's inch, right? You know, that is what you need. Level six Crapsy. on Somnus. Not easy to get in range for a, a boat kill with X. Are they trying to go now on the pure? Gets some separation, gets caught Those now cogs. in the cogs, and no, he walked back in and is just gonna die for it. Yeah, Save was busy grabbing the wisdom rune for a little bit there. So pure all alone, trying to get some safe XP and not so safe. Toronto Tokyo may be thinking about another move in here. Does have Chalice in the sights. Hadouk. They move in. A couple more hits, an easy bring down. Enchantress, very strong hero. And FY now going to be chased by the Ench and the oh. Seder. Well, the X marks the spot. Control is on to Muerta on the top side of the map. Still dropping low. Save is going to fall. But FY tries to dive. Again, Hadouken is going to be back up. Can they manage to quite hit in time? No. It's going to TP out of there. Exist really in the game and be happy. And when you don't get these plays in the late stage and it just feels so much worse. So really impressive stuff here for Toronto Tokyo. Oh, yeah, good the hogs. Able to get him just in time, not able to hit for the calling. And with the boat down, that is going to be a kill. So Somnus, bottom then he went up and now looking for Chalice, they bring him down too. So a one trade apiece. And that's closing Kinda in on the level. 
they have a ward in behind on the tower here. It's giving them full vision. Kill. This is just a He's low meta. They want just this out of range. There's no way that he gets away from this one. Surely, this hero's good, but is it going to be that good? The well, Meteor is down. Somnus will fall. GPK not going to be caught by Tian Ming, who's running through, and now he's also in trouble. They have FY in the area. The Icarus dive. Let's do some pretty good damage. And with the Hurricane pull back in, FY, he went too far. The duel is there. Ooh. First one claimed for Pure. Very nicely done. Don't see that too often. They're really early dual kids in the middle. And also, you know, there is waveform here too, so it's not even a guarantee. They see the rocket player. Now they oh. go the Enchantress while they're also going on the other hero. Well, it didn't really look super clean, but it should be enough to take down Toronto Tokyo in the end, I would assume. Plus? Although, wait a minute, wait a minute. The dead shot does a good job, but the Tidebringer hit. Nicely played by Somnus. It's going to be Tian Ming dying. Lul makes the movement over a tornado EMP combination. It's going to drain all the mana from these big strength cores. And in the end, it's just going to be support for support. I feel so bad when you bring your whole team and you have to retreat. Yeah, you're getting the call there as the Luna who you know, has two points in the Lucid Beam, no Eclipse. You still have to show up. And now your Brewmaster, no mana for a play here. No stick or wand and no hope. Hoping to get away, Sunstrike hits. That's enough. Nice try, Nightfall. Almost, oh, almost got the kill. Yeah. Pure? Do they have anything to follow up with this on? A lot of TPs. No, as a matter of fact, he is probably going to get dueled here. The duel, the turn, a couple more hits, a dead shot, and another win for Pure. Oh, it's GPK Invoker. Four, zero, and three. Oh, well, that's a counter pick match, if anything. Anyway. They scanned it, though. They know they're back there. And he's immediately going to try and run away. Doesn't have a more, doesn't have a point for it either. And they go Wait for him. Play. Oh. Nice play. Tian Ming able to get him. And just like that, Azure Ray back into it. Wow, even with the scan, could not escape. That that hook shot, I think, was blind, if I'm not mistaken. Lu still has not been sort of forced out of the Ancients yet, but a boat. Oh, this would be huge. Does it get any time? Yes, they do. Somnus, when they need it the most, comes out with a clutch one. Oh, the back-to-back -back kill. Oh, but wait, will they get one in return? GPK stepping forward. Chalice wants to get out of here, does not have ulti. They're a little bit too late, but with a little bit of help, maybe they can get a return kill. Toronto Tokyo's there, forward. they have the egg, nice. but the hook, hook shot comes in, stops that from Pure, oh. able to interrupt with a battery assault. Just like that, as you're ready, they're streaming forward, oh, wanting GPK. to find the kill, and they will. Save, trying to do what he can, but also with the ultimate coming out on this Luna, they've got him under fire, going to fall. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable stuff here from Azure. I gotta give it to Tian Ming. Like the way that he's playing and stopping these ganks on the Luna, allowing Lu to stay in this game, getting this little bit of disable on the edge, and then the hook shot to Ooh. save the egg, like. And then another, another one. one. Uh, like, he can do no more. Tian Ming making the plays when his team needed him, and Somnus is able to catch there on to Toronto Tokyo. The last couple of minutes have been disastrous for Bedboom, and it's Azure Ray who are benefiting. It almost feels like these two morph kills matter so See much. See how contracted they're playing right now, but they are Toronto Tokyo microwave gonna run through. Well, he gets caught. They all gated on the side of Bepu. But can they catch this afterwards? They already used the split. The egg is down, and now Pure, he's in too far. They wanted to make a move, but they're gonna be the ones that get caught. They try to bring down Tian Ming. The heal is there from the supernova from the Phoenix. Pure turns, tries to go for a duel. That was not how that was supposed to go. Uh -oh. Bet boom, what's going on? They get picked off with the Legion. Are they able to cut the waves with the Invoker and the Morphling? Is the Enchantress able to like drag waves? GPK, they see him, Tian Ming. Oh, the tornado interrupted. As interaction I didn't know about. Cog's not gonna connect. Still hanging out. Oh, he goes through and gets the duel. Oh, not this time. All right. Pure. Taking a little bit of retribution for himself there. And now finding safe Tian Ming. This is the kills that Bet Boom wanted. The back and forth that's happening between these two squads. And they're very strong together, but you start breaking them. That's what it does. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard many like coaches and like players be like, I don't know what it does. You know, it's like where it's his eggs. They're just like, I'm not, what, can you use that spell there? I'm not sure. Well, this it's is the like... big spell to get if they can bring him down in time. And in fact, they will. Chalice just gets blown up. That is oh, the dual kill. But he actually X himself, unfortunately. Maybe he's going for pure there. Bit of a misclick, and now Tian Ming, he's in no man's land, has a hook shot over to FY to get some separation. I mean, they're gonna keep chasing shortly. Nightfall is there, has the alacrity ready to go. Tian Ming in trouble, good cogs push back onto two, trying to get everybody out. The dead shot, the torrent, not gonna connect to Tokyo. He's too far forward. Wow, look at the standing tall of Azure Ray. They're saying, go ahead, keep chasing us. 
Well, this could be good if they can burn through the mana. In fact, they will right away, but the Sunray is out trying to heal him up. Is it going to be enough to keep him alive? Trying to survive, but it's not going to happen. They take down the Luna. Somnus tries to TP out. Will manage to do just oh, that. Wait, keep him alive. But Hold Beto, on. On. they're there. They find another kill. It was five seconds, guys. Come on. The duel he wanted. Kieran needs to get a few back here, okay? He's giving one up. Boom, they're fairly spread out right now, and right away. Oh! Anticipated the movement, but didn't quite find him there. Nightfall is the morph. No man's land, it's the morph. He's gonna walk forward. The stun, it's done. He's gone. Oh, that can't happen. And he is dead for 70 seconds. Power building to building, then bed boom. I mean, all they can do is watch. You can't initiate here. You oh, don't have oh, your morphling. Keep it going. 20 oh. seconds. They try and look. Save is out there. Starts to hit on the Somnus. The X mark. The play. The ghost ship. He gets a little bit of separation. There he's going to pull him in closer. Save is gone too. He doesn't have buyback either. Creeps are still in the mid lane as well. Oh. And they had enough on Azure. The though. problem is, Luna, it's come high ground. Ed Boom, they've had so many moments here. So much of the year spent trying to get it all to this point, and potentially it's all going to be for naught if they can manage to claim this high ground. Disarm for now. Little steps forward. Building being hit. They tied a wave in. Save. Try to control. Chalice does have refreshers, so they'll have another salvo of this if they want. X mark. Control. Torrent. Got him caught. Save. Dead again. That's a buyback. Lowell hitting, they don't have answers. As a ray, there's the hook shot. They find the high ground, but look at the turn from Nightfall. Pops the oh, team, staying alive. Cool. The duel jumps forward, they didn't get anything off. Bedboom trying to hold for all their worth, but do they have enough damage? Do they have enough to take him down? Nightfall, he's out of the base yet again, he's gonna die! 80 seconds gone! As a ray, they lasted long enough, and one death was all it took. Lowell feeling himself there on the finish. You go back to how this game started. It was not looking good for Azure Ray. They had to wait for the timing. Chalice, a tough start on that Brewmaster, but he held out and saw this. The